Katherine Heigl has been a household name for nearly 15 years, from her breakout <laughs> Emmy-winning role on Grey's Anatomy to hilarious turns on those big movies like Knocked Up and 27 Dresses. Now Katherine is heading to the courtroom as the new powerhouse attorney in season eight of the hit legal drama Suits. And earlier, we sat down with Katherine to talk about the role that brought her back to primetime. Her name is Sam Wheeler. Truth be told, Alex, I prefer Samantha. You two know each other? No, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out she's Zane's guy. He didn't figure it out. What I figured out is, whoever you are, if you think you can waltz into my office... Harvey, I got it. Do you? Because unless I'm misreading the situation, she's saying you don't. Harvey? You know what? You two are obviously having some trouble. The good news is you'll have plenty of time to work it out because as of end of business today, your client is dropping their manufacturing division. And we can get back to the business of running this firm under the direction of Robert Zane. <laughs> Hello. <Wow. laughs> you know how to make an entrance. She's fierce. She is Is that fierce. what attracted you so much? Or did you just want to be on the show so badly you didn't care what the character was? That's it. Yes. That's it. Well, she's like a stalker. <laughs> yeah, what I was did. it about the show? Why, why was just, it? We, we, Josh and I, yeah. my mother, who's my producing partner, we fell in love with it and started binging it, I think, yeah. probably a couple years ago. And my, it was my mother's suggestion we reach out to Aaron, who's the creator, and see if he maybe wants to help us develop some of our projects. And uh, at that, during that conversation, he admitted they were going to do an eighth season and I kind of raised your hand. Excited. Did you? Yeah, it was. A, it felt weird. It was a little risky because yeah. I thought, what if he's like, what if no, he rejects thank me? Thank you. <laughs> so but. what did? So what was he immediately delighted? Or? Yeah, he was so gracious and lovely and thought like that was a fun and great idea. And I didn't realize at the time that Megan and Patrick were leaving. I mean, I think we assumed Megan was yeah. leaving. Yeah, right. But um, I didn't know Patrick was. So it kind of was this graceful, fortuitous thing where um, he had two characters, two very important characters exiting the show and needed to bring in it was a vacuum. Know. Yeah. Well, when you walk into a show that's been in existence for uh, several seasons, there's a, there's already a familial kind of aspect to yes. it. Did you walk in thinking like, am I going to fit in with this group yes. or I'm the new kid in school kind of thing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I was very self-conscious. I was really nervous about I'm that, you know, you I'm the new girl. Yeah. Um, but they were incredibly yeah. embracing yeah. and they call everyone called me when it was announced in the press and made a contact and reached out i had a two-hour conversation with rick hoffman who which was so fun i revealed my entire <laughs> life history it was like therapy <laughs> good yeah it was great and so is this the final season then or i don't know they don't know they'll, they'll i don't wait know and see. i'm interested to find that out myself in the meantime you are juggling motherhood up yeah. on the set in t toronto now you're you also have four children now yes. under your roof yes okay. How do you do all of that? Because I know you were talking about how it's interesting. I feel this way sometimes, too. At work, you sort of know yeah. what's going on. And yeah. at home, things sometimes are totally Out of control. Yeah. So much second-guessing when you're parenting, I think. Yeah. You're wondering if you're making the right choices, if you're making the right decisions. But at work, I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. A lot of decisions are made for me, which That's is a, a relief. Question. I can't stop yeah. looking at your pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. What do you love the most about motherhood? There's something about it that has, well, obviously it's changed my life, but my children are not just the, the light of my life. They're sort of the light in my life. Oh, they've kind of, they've focused me, they've grounded me, and they've given me purpose, you know? And I certainly love what I do, and my career has given me a certain amount of direction and purpose, but there's something uniquely different about mothering and parenting and that, that love. It's, yeah. um, it's terrifying. To love them so much, um, and it's exhilarating. Why is it terrifying? What? I always have that 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 fear of something happening or yeah. something that I love this great would be taken away. Um, and I come from a family where there, there was a death in our family. My yeah. brother died, so I've always had that slight mm. shoe gonna drop. But yeah. um, at 39, really working on that. Good for you. And embracing how beautiful and exciting and um, blessed my life is and yeah. not focusing on that at all. You're in a great place you now, You really Kat. are. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Thank really you. happy Thank for you. Thank you for coming too. to see Thank us. You. That was a pleasure. Oh, I love you, suits, ladies. Baby. <laughs> all right, you can catch the premiere, season premiere of Suits next Wednesday, July 18th on our sister network, USA. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.